Waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Transformers video third party Transformers video and you will notice on the table we have Fans Toys FT30D Viper which we've already reviewed but nevertheless if you remember back to my unboxing for Jester and the Ethereon parts box um, I did state that I was going to go through each of the bots up uh, in their own individual videos and do a transformation into their vehicle mode and into their limb mode mode of course we got viper before any of that could even arrive so we're going to go back and we're going to do um a video showing the transformation to right arm mode for viper uh but before you do that we're going to go over an accessory that arrived that is exclusively for mr viper um now i do want to bring that up uh on the unboxing we did find this little piece right here and it did have two other small blue pieces attached to it these clear blue pieces right here and what these are is are these are replacement hip cover for the uh, pieces that are currently on Viper. I guess Viper was released with this. These are apparently more cartoon accurate, but you can keep whatever one on you want. We're just going to show you how to take one of them off. So I'm going to bring the camera down so we can get a look, closer look at his uh, gentleman's area. And we can just unpeg the cover right here. And uh, what you want to do is you can just bring up these, uh, just bring up one of the hip covers. And real quick, they just tab in right on the back. You either push them out from the back or uh they are easy enough that you can just get your hand it helps you get your hand in from the inside and uh there we go and they just detach and detab themselves and then you just bring it in and uh they go in a certain orientation with the tabs on the back you just gotta line them up with the tabs right here and you can put that on just like that and same thing for the other side just kind of bring them here unfortunately i can't it's kind of hard to show. You just got to kind of grab in from the inside. You just pull that out, and then you can put this one in. And remember to get the uh, cover situated in just the right orientation. You can tab that in. And uh, there we go. And there we have FT30D Viper with his more accurate uh, gentleman's area plate. And uh, yeah, uh, I think this looks good. I mean, I could have gone either way with the color. This really didn't bug me all that much. You can still see the molded detail behind the blue. I'm, the blue, excuse me. I'm probably going to keep the blue on just because uh, I think it's quite a sexy looking color. So, uh, but either way, I could have gone either way. Fan stories really didn't have to do this, but that's awesome that they did. Um, so that being said, let's get on with the transfer. All right, without further ado, let's get Mr. Viper transforming up into his arm mode. And uh, if you have Jester, uh, it's very similar. And uh, if you've gone to the flight mode before, it's very similar to that as well. So first off, you want to make sure his arm, his hands are in fists. Excuse me, you're just going to open up this back panel here and you're just going to rotate the hand in and then you're going to close it up. It'll tab in just like that. Then what we can do is uh, we're going to open up the side panels here. Ah, see the similarities? You can bring the arm out just a bit and uh, you're just going to accordion this back in. And again, you're going to notice that this little tab piece coming out just like this. And then you can push up on the forearm and then you can bring this down. And it's just going to slot and tab in right here and lock that in. It's going to be the same thing on the other side. I will do that off camera. So now we have him standing like this with about half his arms and no hands. And we're just going to pull out on the arms. You can see you got these locking tabs right here. And we're just going to leave the face off because it will fall off multiple times during the transformation. Uh, move out this tab right here. And you're just going to move the chest outward. And then you can take the entire upper body and raise it up on these big beefy hinges right back here. Then what we want to do is you want to take the arms. You got these two panels right here. You're just going to pull out. You're going to rotate in and you're gonna push out. Same thing for the other arm. You're gonna pull out, rotate in, and push out. And then you wanna have both the arms straight down and you're just gonna push them both in at the same time, just like this. And then you could just push them back just like that. That'll make everything nice and cohesive on either side. And then you see you got a slot right down here. You have a tab right here. You're just gonna bring this down, make sure everything's straight and you're just gonna tab them in, lock it in, lock it in. And the last step for that is you're gonna bring this out, just tabs in right here. And you're just gonna kind of bring this up on a hinge right back here it's kind of hard to see same thing for the other side bring that up just like that and then you can take the head 
I, oh, before we do that, you're going to open up these two panels on the chest. We forgot that step with uh, Jester. And you're going to take the head. This dimple would be for the nose if it would stay on, but you're just going to bring the head down just like that. And next up, what we're going to do, we're going to come to the legs. First off, you can untab the pelvis. It just tabs in right here on these two hinges. Just kind of leave it up out of our way. Um, and then you can open up this panel here, and then you can open up this panel right here on his kneecap. There we go. And uh, you can open up this panel right here on the side. And you can fold out the wing a bit to give yourself some more room. And then you can t accordion this down. Just kind of push it through right here. It accordions on this hinge right here. And just accordion it downward just like this. There you go, just line that up and leave it like that. And it's gonna be the exact same thing on the other leg. I'm gonna do that off camera. We will be right back. And we basically have them looking like this. Now, what we want to do is uh, you can see you have these two little uh, kind of divots right here. You just want to make sure the back legs, they kind of have a little dimple that's going to go right in between. That'll help, kind of help lock them in. Same thing for the other side. And then you could just start locking all the legs together. You have a tab right in here. Just kind of squeeze everything out. You can bring the toes out as far as possible, by the way. And uh, then we could bring up these two side panels on this hinge right here just kind of close up the legs same thing for the other side just kind of close up the legs right here and you have two tabs right on here they're going to go into this these two slots right here on the front of the legs just kind of help lock everything in and uh, the final step is uh bring the wings out real quick and you're just going to fold out the wing tips on either side of the wing either side of the wing just like that and the last step is a bit of parts forming uh if you have jester you do have the hand piece and you can see it's got this little uh slot right down here you can see you got a basically the uh bottom of the feet have this little opening right down here and you're just going to take it push it up in and uh lock it in just like that then you can bring down the feet and uh like magic there we have viper aka slingshot in his right arm mode and uh yeah you can basically see it's just his body reconfigured uh into a right arm we can actually bring down the wings on the back however you want to have it uh, we're not going to go over the articulation once again we're going to save that for the combiner but uh you can see how that is all going to look when it's ready to combine into his final combined mode and uh that being said uh let's get a just quick comparison here with the only other right arm that i have we're going to get it in with the toy world control Constructor, and so you can see uh, how that looks. I think this guy's name is Unearth, but I'll call him Scavenger. And you can see just how they look out. Uh, the uh, Toy World just a bit longer, but again, I think the Toy World just generally had longer arms. And there we go for that. And lastly, but not least, let's uh, bring the camera down so we can get just a quick scale measurement. And we'll just go to where his head would have been. And you can see the arm is eh, just shy of about nine inches. So there we go. And that'll be about it for this short, sweet little tutorial of how to get Fans Toys Viper FT30D into his right arm mode. And that'll give us the preparation we need for the final combination video. And that being said, uh, if you want to see my full review on this guy, I'll put a link in the description down below, as well as a link in the description to my Ethereum playlist, so you can check out my other reviews for this as well. Uh, that's going to be about it for this evening, guys. So you guys know what to do if you found this video fun and informative though mostly informative i hope uh hit that like button down below i greatly appreciate it it does help me out and also if you are a fan of transformers things both official and third party alike both masterpiece and mainline alike consider giving my channel a subscribe i do greatly appreciate it and that's gonna finish up i have been fc finch thank you so much for making me a part of your collecting journey good night <laughs>